Good afternoon. How you doing today? We're down here in Forest Valley, Georgia at the uh, Bluebird Manufacturing Facility where they make Bluebird buses. I just went ahead and I uh, brought a load of parts down here. Man, oh man, it's a beautiful day, but it's a little cloudy. Not bad. Not really. It's gorgeous out here. It's about 73 degrees. Unfortunately, I know there's a bunch of people out there, up there in Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, well, maybe not Illinois, but Minnesota, that's freezing their little butts off. I'm sorry. I didn't plan on being down here in Georgia where it's warm. It's about 75 degrees here and I'm having a ball. Look at these buses. Isn't this great? American workers bringing American stuff, making American. It's absolutely fantastic. Hope your day's going well. Hope you're staying out of the cold. And if you are in the cold, you best not be watching this video while you're driving. But be careful. It's nasty out there. I want y'all safe. Anyway, you know what? Tomorrow's March 1st. Oh, I went a little farther than I'm supposed to. Tomorrow's March 1st. March 1st. Let's see. March, April, May, June. March, April, April, May, May to June, June, July, July. Ooh, five months. Let's see, five months and 25, four days and counting. Actually, five months and 25 days right now because it's not March yet. Anyway, I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today, I'm going to tell you something. I went ahead, I'm going to sit down here for a minute. I was driving down here, getting into Atlanta. Oh man, I am telling you the traffic. Atlanta's like Chicago. Okay, only worse. There's more people down here to go ahead and actually than you can shake a stick at. And I swear to goodness, they went ahead and they was called and told, Robbie's on his way down. Everybody get on the road. I am telling you, that was fun. All we got to do is go ahead and kick back and relax and have a good old time. Because down here in Georgia, they relax. What a day, what a day, what a day. You want to know something the best part about it is? My mood is positive because I got Amy to thank for that. All right. Smile, girl. It's a great day. Tomorrow morning, I go ahead and go up to Forest, Forest Park, Georgia. Pick up about 25,000 pounds of Menards stuff. And then we go ahead and we get back on the road for another 1,000-mile journey to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. That's where it's cold. I wish I could stay, I wish I could bring the warm air up to you. But if I did that, then you guys would have a flood. So we're not going to do that. We'll just bundle up in our, our jacket. Maybe I'll find a hat. Nice hat. Maybe I'll find a bowler hat. Oh, Amy said I would look good in a bowler hat. Mitt Romney went ahead and won the primaries in Michigan yesterday. Guys, do we want another Obama light going ahead and taking care of business? Because we really don't want Obama in the office, do we? Do we really? Do we really want it? Or do we want to have an economy that's actually going to go ahead and run? You know, I'll tell you, if I was running, which I'm seriously thinking on doing for Michigan legislature, mark my words. First thing I'd do is I'd go ahead and try and find a way to create jobs, which means Michigan's got to get back on its feet. Plain and simple. If we don't have an economy, we ain't got a living. And if we don't have a living, what are we doing? We're going to be fighting amongst each other. We're going to be going ahead and we're going to, we got to get on target. We got to get on target. Not get on the ball. Because I want to tell you something. If we don't get on the ball pretty darn quick, we're all going to be in sorry shape. 
You believe four dollar gasoline? Hell in California they're paying four oh eight. That's on the light end. Four twenty eight for premium. You know, every time the uh, gas prices go up, I think they said two cents. That's twelve dollars more that we gotta spend on gasoline. That's twelve dollars less that we get to go ahead and save. That's twelve dollars less we get to go ahead and spend on whatever we want to. Now how the hell is the economy gonna go ahead and work if all we're doing is spending our money on gas? Do you realize that we have more oil in this country than Saudi Arabia does? And we have enough to last a thousand years. Why in the world isn't our government going ahead and actually turning on the spigots to every oil well in this country and us getting off of foreign oil and onto domestic where we belong? No, instead we're exporting it and we're not going ahead and putting it in our economy. Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's right? Let me know. I'm really interested in finding out what you guys want, especially Michigan. I'm going to find out whether there's viability in me going ahead and getting into the legislature. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but I'm going to tell you something. I know we can do it. Between Mount Pleasant and Lansing, somehow, someway, we got to get Michigan back to work. And I'm here to tell you. If I can go ahead and get in the legislative body, if I can get in the Michigan legislature, I'm going to see what I can do about it. This is no joke. Starting this afternoon, I'm going to see what I can go ahead and do and how I got to go ahead and, and, and uh, you know, what I got to do to go ahead and actually put my hat in the ring. What do you guys think about that? I'm dead serious. Anybody that knows anything about the uh, uh, politics and stuff, let me know. Give me a, you know... Go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, send me an email at rallwood at yahoo.com, please. Or check out that uh, semi-life, you know, zero 08 on YouTube. Oh, my God. He's on YouTube. Anyway, you guys have yourself a fine day. Last seven and a half minutes, I do appreciate. Amy, I'll be home. I'll be heading home this weekend. Well, actually, tomorrow. You have yourself a good day, man. We'll talk at you later. Be safe. Be careful. Night's out.